See, this really gets under my skin. I'm going to read to you, quote, unquote, what this fool said. Jeremy Dawson, Chad Dawson's brother, is attacking him, saying that he ain't doing enough for them. Let me, okay, I'm going to read to you, quote, the quote, credit to John McCormick for putting this out to the public. Hold on. Here's the quote. Chad is up there in camp, and he just ain't focused right now. The eye of the tiger isn't in him anymore. He's an elite fighter, but he don't get serious. War is going to beat him up. Chad is up there with all of his family enjoying himself, and he's not focused on training. I can tell. I have been around him for a lot of camps, and he isn't focused for this one. Hmm. Maybe he ain't in the, the camp this time. Now, here it is when the real juice is coming out. Chad is a millionaire. He makes a lot of money every time he fights, but he doesn't do anything for his family. He don't give us anything besides his immediate family. Chad isn't taking care of any of us the way he should be, and it disgusts me. Now, that's done. Okay? Let me get up close and personal to the rest of the public so you will understand something. If you a man, you handle your business how they, as they present themselves. You don't need something else to justify your statement. Someone else's money or your brother or your family, it's their money. Their job is to take care of their own wives and children, their immediate family. They owe you nothing. That's what everybody mistakenly misunderstands just because somebody gets millions of dollars. If my brother get a hundred million dollars, if he don't give me a dime, that's on him. I'm a man, so I'm going to provide for myself and my own immediate family because that's what a man does. He don't say, he, he ain't looking for the handout, trying to wait till the next man get on. And, and live off him and pinch off him. He got his own stuff he got to deal with. You see, that's the problem right now. Everybody is so damn dependent on somebody else. Oh, I need the government to help me. I need this and that. Don't want to get off the couch. You know, and that's the problem right now. We're always looking for the handout, the quick money, lottery. All this other craziness. And that's how you stay in poverty. Because you're not trying to do anything for yourself. And that's where this Jermaine character, he, he falls in that category of give me a handout. Come on, man. You got millions of dollars, man. Counting his brother's money. I'm quite sure your brother brought you in the camp. You had ample opportunity to say, well, let me take this serious. Maybe I could become a trainer. I got my brother who's successful. Maybe he can work with me and then help me out. Because if I got millions of dollars, I'm not going to give millions of dollars to you just so you can jag it all away. We didn't have nothing to show for it. But saying I had a good time, man. Yeah, man, let me a couple more million. No, it don't work that way. If you have a business plan or something, a structure that can help keep money coming in, where well, I don't have to worry about you going broke, you can provide for the other cousins and other families and set up a business, that's where the money comes in. I mean, that's where the value of the money comes in, where it's actually working for you instead of against you. You actually have something coming in instead of going out. You have assets instead of liabilities and Jermaine Dawson you sound like a gigantic liability please